Good afternoon, my name is Johan van Rensburg. And I am Hanneli van Rensburg. And this video is all about good friends of ours, Johan and Elsa de Kooi and their son Dirk, who has been part of our family for the last 30 years, actually since we moved to Tabizindi. Uh, they became very good friends of ours and also a very good support structure. Me, as somebody who's in education, uh, had a lot of things to do for the school, with the kids of other people, and a lot of times I was not available or at home to see to it that the needs of my wife as well as my child uh, is given attention to. So Elsa was the one who was always there with a car available to take my wife to Pretoria for doctor's uh, appointments and those kind of things. Well, you on, a guy who I spend a lot of time with talking politics, talking rugby, uh, and something that I always remember of him He's the one who taught me to always stay positive, no matter whatever your situation may be in, you may be in. At some stage in life, things will turn around and things will get better. And they are very close to our hearts. Um, Elsa, I've got more to do with Elsa, although we spent yeah. a lot of time together as families. Um, but Elsa and me, we are as everybody would call it, the BFFs. Um, we know everything about each other, um, our preferences. We can actually um, do things without even asking or saying. We just know this is what I want and this is what she wants and without words we can communicate like that. Um, because of my disability, I relied a lot on Elsa during um, uh, our um, Aberschlein functions. Um, we uh, got to meet through the functions and became friends from there. And um, yes, so I really relied a lot about on her because of this and the roles I had to play and um, things I had to do. She was my number one. And um, yes, uh, also, as a girl or a woman in town, is um, everybody knows her. Everybody knows her good heart. Everybody knows you can just ask and she's there. Um, you, sometimes you don't even have to ask. She'll just pitch up and say, here I am. I am here to help. And um, Yes, in a few years ago, um, her husband, Johan, he got diagnosed with cancer and um, he got sick and sicker and lately he was, for the last few months, he was bedridden and um, because of his um, illness, Johan wasn't able to work and um, bring money into the household. Um, so about three weeks ago, Johan passed away. It was um, very sad for all of us. It still is very sad for us. Um, Elsa is now left alone um, with one thing that is, I suppose, the most important thing when you are on your own, um, and that is uh, a vehicle. Um, the car they currently have is very old and it's, it needs a lot of attention. In fact, I would not even spend money on um, trying to fix the car. Our goal with this um, back of body is to try and see if it will be possible to um, get enough money sponsored so that um, we can buy her a brand new little car. Um, her son Dirk um, lives in Pretoria. She's got two grandkids and she lives here in Tabazundi. And this is about how many kilometers apart? 220 at least. Yeah, so it's about 220 at least that she's got to cover if she needs to see her child 
the children or the grandkids. Um, she lives in, uh, in an old age uh, uh, or a, a retirement village sort of thing. And um, it's the houses are very small, so there's not a lot of place for the kids to come and visit. So she will be the one that needs to do the traveling. And as she's currently working, she also needs a girl to get to work. So yes, this is basically what um, our heart's desire is, is to be able to get enough money um, to get her a brand new car. I think if there's people who are really deserving of that, somebody is deserving of that, then it's Elsa. Um, this will also give her the opportunity to be uh, totally uh, free, not having to go to look at other people or look into other people's eyes for support. Um, and I think at the end of the day, if we can reach this goal, it will mean a lot to her, but also to us as a friend, uh, just to give her back something in life. Um, which will enable her to do whatever she needs to do, whenever she needs to do, to do that. Yes, I think it will change her life completely to be able to have a brand new vehicle and a car. So yes, please, um, ladies and gentlemen, we do not know who you are, but we are asking you to open your pockets and um, donate as much as you can send this link to everybody that you know and help us to get Elsa a new car. Thank you for dealing with us and making this dream a reality. <laughs>